He's I got two. two. <laughs> All right, we are pressing on with our attempts to list our five favorite Pokemon from each generation. We are moving on to Gen 3, which is, in our opinion, the worst gen. A lot of people got mad at us for that. Did you guys know that? I didn't... I... Yeah, I, I saw those comments. People so, were like, Gen 4 is the worst gen. And I'm like, did you play Gen 4? <laughs> <laughs> so much better in every way to Gen 3. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So, anyway, we, we're going to get the ball rolling. And if in case you didn't watch our last videos, there's five of us, and we're each going to be doing our own separate lists. So, instead of a consensus, it's just each of us giving our own list, because it would be impossible to come up with a consensus. We also have Jess sitting in this evening. She did not do Hello. her own list, but she is one of our nearest and dearest friends, and we want her here, so God damn it, she will be here. Yay. And, uh, yeah, also so that, her birthday. It's also her birthday. Happy birthday, Jeff. Well, happy Thank birthday, you. Jess. Well, happy happy won't birthday be from birthday all of us to you. Close. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Hey. But it was their birthday when Thank it was recorded, and that's all that matters. Anyway, right. let's get the ball rolling. Kyle has volunteered to start us off with number five. Take it away, Kyle. Very well. Number five. No one's going to know who's that Pokemon me. Okay. <laughs> okay, for me, it's a, it's a little bit of a tie because it's the, it's the same line, so no one get upset. It's Ralts and Gardevoir. Curly is not here because Curly has no place being there. <laughs> Ralts and Gardevoir, genuinely, they have, the, they have a really interesting design for me, having that little helmet or hair thingy going on. But genuinely, like, I love... I love the fact that it's like Ralt starts off all dopey and cute, and then Gardevoir is all uh, majestic and and shit. <laughs> all majestic and shit. And shit. <laughs> yeah, man, majestic and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, but uh, I'd like to point out Gardevoir because it's it's one of those things that uh, it's also clothes on Pokemon that's done well and not irritating. <laughs> Like, yeah, Sakatra. Her, her dress thing looks like it's part of her whatever, you know. Doesn't mm -hmm. bother me. Uh, and I just like pointing that out. And I like Gardevoir. Yeah, me too. I like Ralts too. He's cute. Yeah, they're both pretty cool. Gardevoir right, became gonna... one of the, like, standout Pokemon from that gen. Like, everybody yeah. likes Gardevoir, and for good reason. She's awesome. But anyway, go ahead, Kyle. Pick who you want to go next. Well, I was about to pick Rick. Oh, okay. My number five is going to get me some chide from Kyle, because he hates this Pokemon, but I fucking love it. I think this whole line gets a bad rap. My number five favorite Pokemon from third gen is Combusken, the <laughs> middle form <laughs> of the Torchic line. Now, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Blaziken. He's kind of weird looking and stupid and gross, and I know it's Josh... Awful. I know Josh, like, that's his, like, least favorite Pokemon ever. Not a big fan of Blaziken. I think Torchic is okay. It's a cute little bird. Whatever. It doesn't bother me. But Combusken is so cool. He's this little kung fu bird thing. He looks like a character from Chicken Run. And if that just doesn't charm the pants off of you, I just don't know what to say. I, I loved him from the moment I saw him. I was disappointed when he evolved into this kind of ugly bird thing. Um, a, a Digimon? Yeah. He's, to <laughs> me, Combusken is, is just too awesome to not be in my top five. I... I I, I'm glad that I was able to convince Josh that Combusken is awesome, even yeah. if Blaziken is not. Yeah. You, can, you convinced me, too, because at first I didn't like... When I, that first gen came out, I didn't like Combusken very much. I didn't hate him like I hated Blaziken. I've always disliked Blaziken, but Combusken really grew on me after you pointed out how cool he is. I just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's awesome. So that's, that's my number five pick. You're never going to convince me. <laughs> that's... <laughs> So yeah, let's let's hear from uh, Josh because I just I just talked about. Him. All right, my number five is Sharpedo. Uh, Sharpedo is the first ever shark Pokemon. Its eyes are in its gills. It's got a really cool ability in rough skin and speed boost from the Dream World. That's it makes terrifying. it so awesome. Yeah, it's scary because of its huge attacks. That oh, it also just looks really really cool. All right, uh, that's it. So. Who's left? Matt or Me Don? and Matt. All right, Don. All right. My number five is Trico, because I'm not going to lie. I saw him on the show. He's got that little like, branch thing in his mouth, like a toothpick thing. <laughs> Fucking badass. <laughs> All right. He is. All the cross in his arms and shit. He's a total badass. He's got two, yeah. man. Trico's yeah. got tooed. 
Yeah, so it's fair. Got two tails. So yeah, that's why I like Chico because of the show. Oh, uh, I good a reason as any, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of the starter Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, your turn, Matt. All right, following in a sim- similar trend with Trico, my number five is Kecleon. I love lizards. I have loved lizards all my life. Gecko's rule. Um, hmm. And Kecleon is a chameleon, and he just looks really cool. He's got that weird ability that I don't think is very useful, but it's it's unique, and he's a gimmick, and it's kind of cool. I trained one in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and uh, he's, he's all right. He's not the most useful Pokemon, but he just looks so damn cool. I'm so charmed by him just because he's a chameleon, and I love how... I don't remember the name of the place because I don't remember anything about Ruby and Sapphire, but you run into, like, an invisible wall, and it turns out to be a Kecleon. What's the name of that town? Mm. Does anybody remember? I'd say it was on a bridge. It was was in, like, the trees. It was, like, the treetop town. I don't remember the name of the town. But anyway... I was really cool. I love Tre- er, Trico. Kecleon. <laughs> Don loves Trico. I love Kecleon. Yeah. He's super rad. He's my number five pick. Popcorn. Back to Ricky. Okay, me again? Yeah, All right. Again. Number four. Uh, my number four is Flygon, who I know Matt's not a fan of. Uh, uh, for s- so many reasons. But <laughs> Flygon just really... <laughs> stands out to me as being a very different sort of dragon Pokemon because he's, he's not bug. He's he's sort of bug like, yeah. He's not a drag he's not a typical dragon looking thing. He looks almost more like a dragon fly. Dragon, uh, not lizard. Hint hint. <laughs> well yeah, like and uh, I just I just think he's cool looking. He's got the those cool red eyes and, and the crazy like heartless horns on his head. And he just always really stuck out to me. I think his typing is really cool. Obviously, Garchomp has the same typing. But um, what, I, what I've what i always found charming about Flygon and sort of twisted is that he's got fly in his name. He can learn fly, and he is not a flying type. So, Fuck that, Flygon. That's just funny <laughs> to me. And uh, would, I've always really have, liked him. I, I like his Flygon point. just have a bad, bad history together. That's all. I've never really liked the way Flygon looked. He always just he was just too weird for me. And then when I make an ass of myself in a Pokemon battle by trying to attack him because he's got Levitate and I, and with with Earthquake, I just that makes me hate him even more because of my own stupidity and him just being so damn confusing. Yeah, that's sort of what I like about him, though. He's not. He he's confusing. He's, yeah, like you said, he's he's weird looking, and I dig that. You know, like. He doesn't look like your Salamence or your Dragonite or your Gyarados, so I know it's not a dragon type. But, you know, he's he doesn't look like your typical dragon, and I dig that. Whatever you so. say. It's your list. I don't I don't hate him, but I don't <clears throat> necessarily like him. I like him a lot. So, let's go back to Don. Alright, my number four is Zangoose, because it's also another badass-looking Pokemon. With this like the red thing going on, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Like red it's stripes. Like, it's like a Z, yeah. isn't well, it? It looks like, like a yeah. scar almost. <laughs> he almost looks like Kratos. <laughs> he does. <laughs> yeah. I never noticed that. But anyway, fucking mongoose Pokemon with claws and a cool design. I wish it evolved. Me too. Yeah, he gets pretty cool attacks. That he has a pretty cool attack stat, though. I think. I, I like the Everybody. concept of Zangoose because he's got like because he's a mongoose and he's got a rivalry with uh, Saviper because he's a snake. Get it? Ha 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 ha. Saviper. Saviper. What did I say? Oh, Saviper. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Now I get it. Yeah. The, also, also he has immunity as his ability. <laughs> yeah. Used to be he was the only one with that. Yeah. Cool Pokemon. I wish he evolved. Looks like Kratos, which is which might not be a great thing. To, uh, maybe, but that's an interesting thing. <laughs> it's still cool. Yeah, it's still cool. So. And yeah, so popcorn to Kyle. Most excellent. Uh, we're on number four. Yes. Yep. Here we go. Uh, 
Well, there's not much I'm going to be able to say because my number four is Starpedo. <laughs> you finally get a shark. It's a dark type. It's a water type. It's awesome. It's a, it's a shark and it's a torpedo. It's a it, Sharpedo. <laughs> precisely. I mean, look. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's the ultimate badass. No. <laughs> Zangoose. <laughs> <laughs> Want to fight about it? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Matt. Go. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Matt. All right, my number four pick is not the ultimate badass, but he's fucking adorable. My number four pick is Spoink, because <laughs> say that name and you will already love this Pokemon. Okay, it's a little, like, pig head with a curly, springy tail, and he bounces up and down on it like a pogo stick. How can you not love that? He's so fucking cute. One of the cutest Pokemon in existence. He evolves into Grumpig, and Grumpig sucks. I hate Grumpig. He's ugly. He's not good at anything he's just fuck don't let him evolve just let him be spoink forever he's just he's so cute i absolutely love spoink and that's pretty much my only reason for loving him because he's adorable and he's also kind of heartbreaking if you read his flavor text where it says he has to keep bouncing because if he <laughs> if he stops his heart stops beating every time you knock a uh, spoink out you're killing it people so just, so just stop 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 attacking spoink for me. Save the points. <laughs> okay, that's my number four. Who hasn't gone? Josh, have you gone yet? Yeah, I haven't gone. Okay, so I go think ahead. I'm the last one. Go ahead. <clears throat> Alright. In a similar vein to Kyle's number four being something already said, my number four is Ralts. That's badass. Yeah. But Ralts is a cool first for Pokemon. It's cute. It's got that bowl cut and two giant red things coming out of its head. That's all I really have to say about it, because everything else has already been said. Uh, it evolves into cool things, uh, unless it's a male Gardevoir, but that's a touchy subject. So uh, let's move on. Take you know, me next. You know, you know what? You know what? I, I just want to say something about Ralts real quick. I think Ralts is really cool right. because isn't that like the earliest psychic Pokemon you can run into in any of the games? Yeah, it is. So. You can run into yeah. him like you... before you even reach the first. Uh, the, the first real city. So. Yeah, and that's really cool considering Psychic is such an OP type. <laughs> I, I think and you get one at the beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah. I think it's neat yeah. that you can just run into Ralts like right away. That has nothing they're to do with... They're pretty rare. I know they're pretty they rare, are. but I yeah. caught one like early in yeah. the game. Are you saying you didn't? No, I'm I just didn't. saying, like, you gotta hunt for them, you know? Yeah, I know, but you yeah, can you still, really you can still do it. It's kind of like yeah. Pikachu in the yeah, Meridian Forest. Yeah, it's a lot like Pikachu. I think that's cool. <laughs> I think that's yeah. really neat that they did that. It is. Anyway, Pick go, me ahead. Next. go ahead, Josh. Right. Pick me next. Popcorn Don, because he yes. wants it so bad. All right. Number three. My number three is Ralts. <laughs> <laughs> right. I see what you did there. <laughs> you let me talk about Ralts all that time when I could have been talking about him after yours. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to talk about Ralts. <laughs> <laughs> it's already been said. Right, Moving up. Pop popcorn, Matt. <laughs> Pop popcorn. All right. Um, my number three is Breloom. Breloom has always stuck with me as one of the best Pokemon from Gen three ever since the beginning. The a lot of it has to do with the fact that it evolves from a mushroom, and mushrooms are super cool, even if they are gross. Um, <laughs> it, it's it, it's all it's like a mushroom kangaroo thing. That punches people, kind of. I don't know. I can it can learn all the punching moves, and that's super cool. Or maybe not all of them, but it can learn some of them. And uh, it's got one of the best attack stats, if not still the best. I don't know. Black and white might have changed that. It never was the best, but it's really high. It's, it's really, really high, and it's got a fantastic ability with the poison heal. Put a poison orb yes. on that thing. It's got spore, which <sighs> OP one hundred percent hit, and it. <laughs> puts everybody to sleep, and you throw out a focus punch, and bam, Breloom kicks fucking ass. Not only is it a cool-looking Pokemon, it's a badass Pokemon to have in battle. The only one on my list that is actually useful. <laughs> so It's awesome. I love Breloom. It used to have a unique typing. Used to, not anymore. In that, grass fighting, but yeah. now with the crazy uh, musketeers. All right. Oh, well, it's the only one that we can use, then. Yeah. 
and it kicks ass every time. Broloom, super cool looking. Reminds me of a kangaroo. Kangaroos are cool. I think it's cooler than Kangaskhan. So yeah, there's that. Uh, Kyle, go ahead and give us your number three. I got it back just in time. Number three. <laughs> That's right. Number three. <laughs> My number three is Hariyama. Okie dokie. Look, man, if you go back all the way, all the way to when we did Zell items, I was into Goron Sumo. Well, Hariyama is a sumo Pokemon. And honestly, it's like he's got... He's got the big bulk and he's got awesome power. He, he's a he's a he's a fighting type that he can get early in this gen, and that's really really handy. Could be a little handy. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. What? Which I, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you lagged really bad. I don't think that he lagged. Pretty, I just don't think he knew what I, he was saying. He lagged for me. But Ariama. He's a cool Pokemon. It's Hariyama. And honestly, at this point, it's just starting to get into Pokemon that that I used more than Pokemon that I liked for their own personal design. Because honestly, it's it's that gen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like Hariyama. He's he's like a onion. Yeah, he's got like an <laughs> onion head. <laughs> He's like he has also got giant hands. Hariyama yeah. has layers. He, I like Hariyama. He's neat. <laughs> He's neato. So I don't. I don't. Hariyama's my three. Putting him in there. Don. Don's already gone. <laughs> oh, for as R- Ricky and Josh need to go. Yeah. Well then, Josh. All right. I was like, is it two already? <laughs> no, we're three still. Okay. Uh, my number three is Trico. Like Matt, I'm a sucker for cool lizard Pokemon. I just love everything about this guy. He's got those kind of Yoshi-like eye stalks. It's a gecko, which is cool. Uh, really? The only thing I don't really get is it has two tails. But I don't know if I'm just missing something or what. It's it's just got a cool-looking tail. What do you want? Yeah, I guess. They wanted to All separate right. it from regular geckos. It's a Pokemon, Josh. <laughs> you don't have to question everything. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Ricky. All right, my number three. What is this, this fucking guy again? My number three is Sharpedo. Uh, <laughs> I, I just, I mean, what is there to say? I've been wanting a shark Pokemon since Gen 1. We finally got one, and he's fucking awesome. He's water dark, which is really interesting. Great attack, great abilities. Uh, he's really frail, which is a shame, but, you know, he's a glass cannon, so... So just be careful with him. I think he's awesome. He got a lot better after Gen 4 split up physical special. Oh my god, uh, yes. Because he got really? physical water and dark attacks, which he didn't have before. So uh, he's actually usable now, and I think that's great. I think that's awesome. Sharpedo's fucking red. That's, what else can I say about him? So he's let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's popcorn Matt. Oh, okay. Back to me already. All right, um... Number two. My number two. Wow, we are moving through this one pretty fast. Uh, fuck it, it's Gen that three. Jen. <laughs> yeah, trying to get through it as fast as possible. My number two, in a similar vein to Gen 4, is Snow Runt. Snow Runt! Hmm? I don't even know what to say about Snow Runt. He is so weird. And in, in, in this really weird way, he's also fucking adorable. Like, you'll, you'll notice with me that cute Pokemon go a long way. And Snow Run is just the right mix of weird and adorable. He's, like, he's shivering. He If you play, like, um, any of the 3D games where he was in, he's, like, constantly shaking and shivering. And he's, like, he's holding his little hat thing. He is the Snow Hat Pokemon, after all. He's holding that thing, like, over Closed. his body. Yeah, and he's got his little hands there. And he's got the big mouth. And he's... Sh- He's just, there's something about Snow Run that has always been so enduring to me. He's just so cute in a weird way, and I really don't know what else to say about him. I was disappointed that he evolved into such an awful Pokemon as Glalie, and I'm glad they gave him Frostlass in Gen 4, because he deserved it. He's he's a cool Pokemon. Well, 
Mm-hmm. I'm glad he was also in the brawl stage. That was Nito. <laughs> Who else thought that was yeah. Nito? I thought that was Nito. So show of hands. Show of hands. <laughs> I'm raising my hand because you can't that was see Nito. It, but I'm raising my too. Snova was also in that level, and Snovo, Snovo, Snovo. Snovo. <laughs> Dr. Snovo Robotic. <laughs> and I think Snover's is really cool. If we would have done a top 10, he would have been in my top 10 for Gen 4. But anyway, <laughs> enough, enough of me talking about Snow Run. He's awesome. He's adorable. He's weird. Go ahead, Don. What's your number two? All right, my number two. Pants. <laughs> Show my number pants. two. <laughs> my number two. Look, go, Don. <laughs> my number two is Sharpedo. Just kidding. No, it's not. It's actually Dust Call. Because. Ghost Pokemon that looks cute. Mm-hmm. Cute little Ghost Pokemon. Little skull. I, I don't know what to say, man. It's I just love the design. And eventually it evolves into something badass. But it's not cute. <laughs> <laughs> now it's broken. I don't really find yeah, it's Dust Skull just, cute. It's super good. good. Dust Skull is awesome. I love it. But yeah. Dust Skull is cool. I don't Really get why it has only one eye, but he's cool. He's a cool guy. That's Dust Clops. Dust yeah. Well, no, Dust Skull only has one eye. Dust only has one eye too. It oh, just really? kind of shifts no between the uh, the two skull sockets. Mm-hmm. Oh, the two. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay, that yeah. makes total sense. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Because <laughs> it becomes the Cyclops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's neato. Learn something new every day. I like that yeah. he's, he's got like the goofiest skull on Earth, like <laughs> on his face. Like, it's like a cartoon skull. Yeah, they couldn't have yeah. made a more cartoony skull. Like Doctor Wiley would be proud of that skull. Yeah. Right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's that's cool. That's part of what makes him cute. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's Nino, man. I think it's Nino. Yeah. All right. Popcorn. Josh, I don't think I have popcorn you. All right. Uh, <clears throat> my number two is Metagross. I really don't know what to say about this guy. He's cool. He's blue. <laughs> so the planet uh, he, is cool and blue as him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I was typing that. Uh, but he's pretty much just badass. I love everything about him. I really wish they didn't nerf Explosion so he could still get a good last hit in before he goes down. Uh, that's pretty much it. Who didn't go for two? Or did I have it. All right, Kyle, go. My number two would be Skeptile, or Sceptile, depending on who you ask. I've, I've just always pronounced it Skeptile, so bear with me if that's wrong. Skeptile is is the old, is the coolest of probably it. Is, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he is the coolest of the grass evolutions. No. Torterra. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> Torterra was your number one, so choose your words wisely. Well, Skeptile uh, blew Venusaur and Meganium out of the water, especially since it finally became an offensive threat rather than Venusaur's and Meganium's tanking abilities. Of course, Venusaur can be offensive now, but that's beside the point. Skeptile was awesome, and he's fast, and he's, he's a big gecko. He could also be really annoying if you have the right set on him. Yeah, he's one of the fastest subseeders in the whole game. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I should make that. Josh has, Josh has one, and he gave one of his offshoots to me. So yeah, it was one. my last one. I have one that's not trained, but I... Have could, one? <laughs> I could make it, and it would be scary. My septile just beats people up. Okay. <laughs> it's it's awesome. it, it, it can do that. Skeptiles are scary fast. Yeah, yeah they are. Especially with Unburden. <laughs> Alright, uh, was I all for two? No, I, Ricky hasn't gone yet. Alright, then go. Alright, my number two. Now, like, obviously, this is my top five, so I like all these Pokemon, but now we're getting into Pokemon that I fucking love wholeheartedly. My number two is Ludicolo. I I fucking love this guy he's ludicrous it's just he's I don't even know what the hell he is he's like a dancing sombrero duck monkey and he like just he like dances he does like rain dances and shit he's just the funniest 
most hilarious thing. And uh, he's wearing a sombrero. That uh-huh. doesn't. I just. I, I don't even know what to do with that. That's amazing. And I didn't really appreciate him until I played Pokemon Coliseum. And Mirror B had six of them, and it played a goofy <laughs> song. And like he just kept out pulling them out one by one. You're like, what's his next gonna Pokemon? What's his next Pokemon gonna be? Another Ludicolo. Okay, what's next? Another Ludicolo. Like <laughs> it was just the ultimate dick move, and just a troll face on, you know, Nintendo's part. And it just, I just fucking love this guy so much. He cracks me up, and uh, I, I can't gush enough about him. So I'll just, I'll just cut myself off. So. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's Ludicolo, my second favorite from third gen. Let's let's popcorn. Uh, I think Josh this is one of the only ones I haven't done yet. Uh, number one. Yep. Number one. All right. Yeah. Uh, one second. What? You no? You no, can't do that. Oh, uh, sorry. That's the sucks about being sick. <clears throat> number one. All right. My number one <laughs> is Swampert. If you heard I like Mudkips, you'd be right. But I like Swampert so much more. He's just so badass. And I wouldn't expect seeing that, seeing Mudkip for the first time. He's the exact opposite to Blaziken, my least favorite Pokemon of the third generation. Yes, I'm inviting you to hate me. And that's pretty much it. So, let's see. Who shall I popcorn? Swampert's awesome, man. He's got, like... Elbow pads and knee pads. Yeah. Anybody else? No. Okay, anyway. People. He's also got like a huge tail. Pick somebody, Josh. Popcorn Ricky. Oh, all right. I just went. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I get to gush again. Holy shit. My number one, Josh already brought him up, but my number one favorite from this gen is Metagross. I just loved this guy from the moment I saw him. He's this, like, metal spider thing with an X for a face, and he's one of the best Pokemon in that gen. He's such a beast. He's got amazing stats all around. He can fill any sort of role that you want him to. He can be defensive. He can even be a special attacker if you want him to, which is crazy. He's got the... He's got a fantastic move pool. He can pretty much do whatever the hell you want him to. I love using him. I love looking at him. I think Metagross is an amazing, amazing Pokemon. Absolutely my favorite from 3rd Gen. His name is cool. He looks cool. The rest of his line sucks, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Metang is just kind of gross and weird looking, and Beldum is just straight up lazy. Like They, they thought up Metagross, and they're like, all right, Let's make his like previous forms like smaller pieces joining together. And when they got down to build them, they just had like an arm, and it looks completely stupid. But the end result <laughs> is what's important. And Metagross is a fucking bamf. I absolutely adore him. Favorite from third gen by far. So, popcorn, Kyle. Okay, I'm gonna be the weird one here with my number one. My number one is totally for the gimmick. It's Shedinja. Uh, Dude, uh, don't get me started. Shedinja has gotten me out of some tight spots. Ass and some tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> what? But that was just the one time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> uh, but seriously, though, considering that uh, now, now I live down in Mississippi where we actually have uh, cicadas, and we occasionally get, uh, you know, cicada exoskeletons just left as gifts for you on your lawn or on your door or on your bike, even. Yeah. Just, the, just the fact that they took this concept and they ran with it to make a Pokemon, and they even did the whole like it's actually you have to have an open slot on your team to even get it. Like mm-hmm. they made it, they made it very realistic, and they they went all out with it in all honesty, and then they gave it this totally unique ability and gave him only one HP, which makes him completely useless now. Thanks to Spike Rocks. <laughs> oh, it's not just Stealth Rock, man. He's had problems with Sandstorm and Hail since yeah. third gen. I know, as long as he's been around, and he's never really going to get much play ever because of that, but uh, when Honestly, man, it just doesn't get better than Shedinja for me. I love Shedinja. 
I love him too. He is sort of gimmicky, but there's a lot of there's no denying that there's a lot of situations where he can save your ass, you know. Oh, he has. Remember, I remember when the Matt had all he had left was his Magnazone, and like, boom, Shedinja, sucker. You totally walled him. He's awesome in Ubers, which we don't play, but there's very few like Stealth Rock and like Sandstorm users in Ubers, so. Mm-hmm. He just walls like ninety percent of the metagame over there, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, Gen three was such a gen for fucking gimmicks, man. Every yeah. every yeah. Pokemon was a gimmick. Plus yeah. all mining because it, it, it was the introduction of abilities. So it's you had Pegleon, you had Ninja, you had uh, plus all and mining. Oh right, yeah. I have to pick who goes. Um, Don. All right, my number one. It's also another gimmick Pokemon, kind of. Because it evolves from a Peebus. And however you pronounce it, I pronounce it melodic. Cause that's kinda, how I, kinda, that's, that's how how I, I say it. Yeah. Yes. Right. You could say Milotic, Milotic, sure. Whatever, you're crazy. It's <laughs> melodic to me. <laughs> yeah. It's the most beautiful Pokemon. It comes out of Gen 3. It also has a pretty good ability. Good defense stat, right? Yeah, it's it's a wall. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a great. They call those bulky waters. Mm-hmm. It's it's mostly specially defensive, but it's got marvel scale, which will increase its defense if it's afflicted by anything. Mm-hmm. Right. So all it has to do is rest, and you basically you're like punch. You're just punching it. It's not doing anything. Yeah, it's mm. it's a beast of a defensive Pokemon. Yeah, the way it like the way you had to get Phoebus to evolve was kind of weird. You had Ridiculous. to give it a, a beauty stat. Oh. Finally. <laughs> Tone that it's, down for us. It's definitely good that they changed that, but even catching Phoebus was a huge pain in yeah. right, Gen. So. Gimmicks. I love I love melodic though. I sort I always sort of saw it as like the, the female Gyarados. Yeah, like that's, yeah. that's what I see it as. The yeah. ladies I was honestly answer expecting. To I was expecting to see a, another Gyarados rehash when we got because there's so many parallels in the fifth gen. Mm-hmm. But I was very surprised that we didn't. So yeah, yeah, that's my number one nice most pick. beautiful Pokemon. Let's let's go with Matt. Yeah, I'm the I'm the only one left, and unfortunately, much like Ricky in the last video, my number one is so anticlimactic because two people have already mentioned him, and another has mentioned his evolution. My number one favorite Pokemon from third gen, my third favorite Pokemon of all time is Trico. I already mentioned it earlier. I love lizards, especially geckos. So when I found out they were making a gecko Pokemon, like a specifically a gecko Pokemon, and it was the grass starter, which I always went with, I lost my shit. I was so excited. I thought it was the <laughs> coolest thing ever. There was no doubt in my mind that I was going to pick Trico every single time I played that game. All one time I played that game. And... <laughs> And just, it, it, Trico is just, he's so damn cool, he's cute, he's a badass, he's got that little twig in his mouth like Don mentioned, he evolves into some really <laughs> awesome Pokemon, I've always really liked Groovile or Grovile, I don't know how you pronounce it, I always thought he was just so cool for a second form Pokemon, like, I he, 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 he's just, he's really cool, Sceptile is awesome, but Trico will always be my favorite because he's just, he's the best, he's one of the best Pokemon ever made, he's Gecko. he's grass starter he's awesome hands down sorry that my number one has already been mentioned a hundred times this video but that's the way it goes so it's like hey gen 3 thanks for trico you did a good job with that yeah <laughs> the <laughs> consensus is trico that's the consensus that's awesome <laughs> yeah that whole line Survey says yeah trico. yeah so yeah that was our Gen 3 Top 5 Pokemon. Join us next time for Gen 2. We're getting into hey Jess, do you have the a best favorite? Gen. I mean, you don't have to make a list. Just do you have a favorite? Uh, from this gen... Oh, God. It's already been mentioned, but I love, love, love Melodic. Like, she's always been one of my favorites from Gen 3, so... Hell yeah. Easily my favorite from Gen 3, but... Uh, Sweet. Between her and Gardevoir, already been mentioned, it was kind of difficult to choose, so... But if I had to, it would definitely be melodic. Just such a beast of a water type. 
That's a great choice. Melodic's a great Pokemon. I agree. Mm -hmm. I know it's a great choice. <laughs> <laughs> we know you know. <laughs> Melodic's a badass Pokemon too. <laughs> Raise of pants, everyone. Raise of pants. <laughs> yeah. Show of pants? <laughs> yeah, just show of pants. Show your pants for <laughs> Melodic and Trico. All right. This is getting out of hand. Join us in Gen 2, folks. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> uh, show of pants.